Welcome back to another player review on the channel. We're going to be taking a look at 90 rated Brozovic. He does now have that five star weak foot and overall 90 rated. So I'm expecting this card to be a very good CDM. That's where we're mainly going to be playing him. We are going to be using that Shadow Kim style to get the pace boost and the defending boost. That pace is obviously the lowest stat. So boosting that up for sure makes sense. This card is 5'11 with three star skills. And like we said, that five star weak foot medium medium work rates should be able to get the job done in that cdm role and as far as the in-game stats go so we said 79 pace but we're going to get plus eights across the board and acceleration and sprint speed the shooting does look kind of average however he does have the 90 shot power and 94 long shots that means he should be a threat from range we'll definitely be testing that out as far as the passing looks we're talking about 91 short passing 90 long passing 89 vision the passing should be top notch the dribbling i'm not really sure how to feel about that i mean 85 agility 90 balance it seems good and we'll just have to kind of test it out and see how he feels on the ball 88 defending though with 91 interceptions that standing tackle sliding tackle all of it looks so good also in the physical department 92 aggression and 99 stamina so the aggression stamina is super good so with that high aggression and high interceptions and just kind of his overall really good defending stats I'm expecting this card to be a menace for my opponents, but we'll have to see. Let's jump into division rivals and test them out. Let's see if we can pick out a pass here with Brozovic. Just trying to accelerate through that midfield, doing well. Oh, look at that acceleration. Go for the roulette. See if we can just pick out a pass into Chiesa. Oh, I couldn't quite get it, but that acceleration through the midfield from Brozovic was insane. All right, back to Brozovic. Try to pick out a pass here. Ball roll. Good pass into Pielo. Back to Brozovic. Ball roll. Keep it going. Looking for that pass out wide. Just trying to cut that passing lane. There it is. He's looking for that pass. Oh, great challenge there against Renato Sanchez. Step forward. Look how quick that closing speed is. Just a couple of steps and he's there right on the attacker. There we go. Trying to send Brozovic forward. See if we can find a pass. Someone, come on, somebody make a run. The Chiesa, beautiful run. And we do get the goal, so that was an assist from Brozovic. Awesome stuff there in the midfield yet again. Let's work this up to Brozovic here. Go, go for the ball roll. Body faint. He does have that really good bit of acceleration. Still able to keep the ball here. Look at that. It's just flying past defenders. And good save there. Oh, come on, Brozovic. Great interception there. All right, Brozovic, go for the roulette. Shielding of the ball against Baggio. Easy stuff for him. Use that acceleration. Let's see if we can work a long shot angle. Oh, I'm trying. He's defending it well. Let's go for that finesse shot. And he scores it. Are you serious, Brozovic? Man, that is nasty. Test another long pass with Brozovic. Going to be to Nunez this time. Got to time it perfectly. We do. That weight of the pass was great. And he makes a good save. Go for the step overs. Keep it going, ball roll. Look at those twists and turns. They're not the prettiest, but he gets the job done. Look at this guy. See if we can find that interception or close him down there. Yeah, look at that. He's just going to keep shielding it. Oh, we turned him around. He still got the ball. Got around Zidane and Renato Sanchez there. Keep it going. No, you're kidding me. There's no way. If we score this, I'm done. And the keeper had to make a save. Ball roll, just trying to find that open pass into Paqueta. I do like that pass there from Brozovic. If we can find a cross into... 
Let's see if we can just shield off the opponent here. Kind of use some hold up here. Look at that. Doesn't know where we're going. And the opponent just cannot get the ball off him. Looks like we've just created ourselves a chance and we ultimately scored that. Just confused him there with Brozovic in the midfield. There we go, able to knock him off the ball with Brozovic. Start that counter attack. I think we can get this interception. We'll close down Henri. Yeah, look at that. Step in front of him. He has no chance of getting the ball back. Brozovic on the ball, looking for that pass into Paqueta. Perfect pass. Go for the cross. Can't quite finish it. Great interception. That lateral movement just to cut out that passing lane was awesome. Creating this counterattack and a goal. See if Brozovic can get there in the box. Great tackle. Brozovic going forward now. Just continuing to just find those solid passes. Short and long passes. See if we can maybe find one more here. Look at that. He's able to get away. Still fighting for the ball. That aggression. And he's able to put it top corner. Wow. We're back after testing out Brozovic in several Division Rivals games and one or two Foot Champs games. And if this review does help you, please hit that thumbs up button to support the channel. But let's talk about how Brozovic felt in-game, the Kim style we landed on, and how he compares to other CDMs in the Serie A. So starting out with that pace. Obviously, I did apply the Shadow Kim style, so the pace did have a boost. But I am going to say that the pace, especially the acceleration, felt much better than I was expecting on the counterattack when... Brozovic won the ball back or one of my defenders won the ball back and I was trying to go on the counter attack and go forward. This guy was able to just accelerate through the midfield very quickly, sprint by most of my opponent's midfielders and just leave them in the dust and then find an open pass to one of my attackers making the run. So yeah, that pace was very impressive and with it being the lowest stat originally, you know, after that Kim style boost, the pace is just solid. So as far as the shooting goes, he did have a couple of chances. There was one finesse shot that he did score. Very impressive. He does not have the finesse shot trait. He does have that 90 shot power and 94 long shots though. And that was very noticeable. So the one time I went for the long shot, it flew into the back of the net. And then a couple of other chances he had in and around the box, that shot power, like I said, was very noticeable. And he was just able to put the goals top corner. The keeper could do nothing about it. So the shooting ability is solid. And you know, this guy can play center mid. So if you do want to play him in a more attacking role, just know that the shooting is very solid and he's able to get the job done in that department. Now moving on to the passing. The passing was top notch. Honestly, it's an 87, but it felt probably like a 90, 91. I mean, the short passing, the long passing, especially those over the top two balls, the weight of those passes was always perfect. And then from that CDM position, when I had my left back and right back going forward on the attack, he was able to you know, pick them out very well on those attacking runs and just place the ball exactly where I needed it to be placed. So the passing is also extremely good. Now moving on to the dribbling. The dribbling says 87 and you know I kind of expected it not to feel quite as good and I would say that it feels more like an 84 or an 85. He does take some heavy touches. The dribbling is a little bit inconsistent and he only has the three star skill moves so it's hard to be very creative in that regard. But, you know, when you're able to just kind of use the shielding of the ball, given how good his physical is, he is able to shield well. And he is, you know, from time to time able to make those turns, especially with like the agile dribbling and the strafe dribbling. So the dribbling is decent. It's just not anything special. And as far as the defending and physical go, those were also both very solid. The interceptions were pretty good. You know, they're like 91 plus eight. So they're 99 with the Shadow Kim style. He's 5'11", so he does have pretty good reach, and he is able to use that quick lateral side-to-side -side movement, especially with the pace that I was talking about being as good as it is. He's very good at cutting those passing lanes, and then on top of that, those tackles that he was putting in, 
He had those kind of like tackle animations that were very big, you know, those big lunges, he was able to go in for the ball and most of the time win it because he also does have the 92 aggression. So with that 92 aggression, he was able to just fight for those 50-50 balls and win them most of the time. And that was just amazing to see. I didn't really have too many heading opportunities with him, but with him being 5'11 and 76 jumping, you know, it's kind of like 50-50 if he's going to win the ball or not. He's definitely not going to be winning the ball against those taller players like 6'1, 6'2, 6'3 players. He just doesn't have the jumping and he is 5'11. So don't expect too much in that department. And that 99 stamina was also very solid, obviously lasting the full 90 minutes. And the 74 strength felt more like low 80s or mid 80s. I feel like the strength was much better than a 74. So keep that in mind as well. But overall, this card was very impressive. And I, like I said, I did land on the Shadow Kim style. And I do think in that CDM role, that's definitely the Kim style to go for. But now let's talk about how he compares to other CDMs and more defensive-minded CMs in the Serie A. We have guys like Zambo Angisa, Balinkovic Savage, and Genie Wijnaldum are the main ones. We're going to exclude Marquisio just because he's a hero. He's much more expensive than this card and considered to be very, very good. So we will exclude him, but talking about those other guys I just mentioned, I'm going to say that yes, he's better than Zambo Angisa in that CDM or CM role. And he's also better than Genie Wijnaldum. Genie Wijnaldum is a player that I use for a couple of weeks and I did like him a lot, but I feel like Brozovic offers more, especially with those interceptions, with him being a little bit bigger in game. He also feels a little bit stronger. And then going forward, I also think that Brozovic is better, especially with that five-star weak foot, being able to shoot or pass with both feet makes a big difference. So Brozovic is better than Zambo Angisa, and he's better than Gina Wijnaldum. Now, he is very similar to Milinkovic Savage. Savage has four-star skills with a five-star weak foot. So that four-star skills definitely adds more creativity to his game. And I like that a lot about him. I do think that Brozovic does feel faster in-game, though. So that's a big plus for him. And like I said, it's kind of a toss-up which one is better. They're also very similarly priced around 85 to 90K. So, you know, I think going for either one of those guys is very good. Milinkovic Savage is a CM, but obviously, you know, you can switch him to a CDM in game or you can make Brozovic a CM that's more like stay back or more defensive minded. So those two are very comparable. But I am going to say that for 85K or, you know, close to 90K, this card is very good value. What you get out of it is a very well rounded card, almost all mid 80 or high 80 stats, especially after applying that Shadow Kim style and somebody with a five-star weak foot, which is just insane. I do think that this, like I said, very good value at 90K. Don't hesitate to pick this card up, especially if there's new Serie A players like that Vlahovic card that just came out that you're trying to find players to link to. Don't hesitate to pick this card up. I highly recommend them, but that's gonna do it for this review. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.